A group of local protesters call it art. Mayor Quentin Lucas and the president of the police union agree it crosses a line. They're talking about a coffin that was marched through the streets during Friday night's protests and set outside KCPD headquarters. KCTV5 investigative reporter Angie Rocono reports on the controversy from all sides. We are hearing from a lot of people on this. We want to warn you some of the images we're showing you will be upsetting to some. However, others say it's art. Daddy Sanders, Daddy Sanders. Daddy Sanders. It's a coffin draped in an American flag. Abolish the police on the front. What's inside is clear to police. It was absolutely a pig in there. The other white meat was written on the bottom. Friday night protest leaders defend this as art and a statement to KCTV5. Instead of focusing on the 150 victims and the families that were present to tell their stories, attention is now being directed at an art piece included next to all the pictures and names of the victims. That art piece was a hand-constructed casket entitled Death to White Supremacy, created by a local black artist who has had their own experience with police violence. I think you can call anything art. The president of the police union waited days to comment. And it was sickening. He says officers take it as a threat. For the most right-thinking people, if you look at this, they look at it as a threat. And, and, and how can we not? The coffin controversy comes at a raw time for Kansas City police. The coffin was displayed on police steps Friday. Sunday, an officer died from COVID-19. Coffin images are now circulating on Twitter and Facebook along with the group's defense. The art piece depicting the death of white supremacy is just that, valid art and expression of real black anger. This wasn't the way. Today, the mayor weighed in. Nobody wants to see anybody dead. And when you have a coffin display, when you have uh, a police officer depicted within it, that is a disgusting display that has no part in any of our conversations in Kansas City. I think those who use that display set back their cause. I think they set back in many ways conversations we're trying to have in Kansas City about the future of policing and public safety. And I would hope, I would expect that we never see any display like that again. The group has not decided if they will use the coffin or not at future events. The leader says the mayor needs to weigh in on the deaths of unarmed black and brown people and not be so concerned about a piece of artwork. Angie Bracono, KCTV5 News. Angie's reporting continues on the KCTV5 News app. There you'll find the full statement from Friday night's protesters. The KCTV5 News app is free and you can download it now in the App Store.